June, and you're in the Urban Survival Kitchen. I'm preparing a, a dish called miso shallot chicken, and I'm starting with miso, which this is an organic miso made from chickpeas. I prefer chickpeas miso over soy miso. I'm going to add a tablespoon of the miso to a bowl. It's pretty thick. It's like thick peanut butter. Then I'm also going to add two tablespoons of chopped shallot and one tablespoon of chopped green onion. You don't need to use the green onion. I happen to have it and so I'm using it. I'm also adding about a third of a cup of homemade Caesar salad dressing. You don't need to use homemade dressing. The recipe is in my upcoming book and it is also on my website www.junepagan.com but if you want to um, you can use a commercial Caesar salad dressing such as Cardini's or, or some brand that you prefer so I'm going to mix the Caesar salad dressing along with the miso and the shallot basically that's it that's my marinade I have an a whole chicken breast that was split in half. It's smart chicken, which is beautifully trimmed and air chilled. This is one of my favorite brands of chicken. I'm going to add the marinade to the chicken and just blend it really well and let it sit for about 10 minutes. That's all there is to it. I'm using Nuvo olive oil today, my favorite California olive oil from 125 year old Mission olive trees, along with Golden State Herbs Domestic Thyme. I added the thyme to a mixture of chopped eggplant and bell pepper and a little bit of tomato and I added olive oil to that, tossed it together and baked it for about half an hour so I have a nice base for my chicken dish. I have a grill pan heating, a lodge grill pan, one of my favorites and I'm going to brush the pan lightly with the olive oil. I don't want to use too much because there's oil in the Caesar salad dressing. Just want to thinly coat the pan so that we get a nice sear. In the meantime I'm going to show you what I did with asparagus stems that I I made asparagus recently to serve with a salmon dish and I kept the base of the asparagus they were too thick to serve with the salmon but what I did was I chopped them and steamed them for five minutes and this is going to be my garnish for this chicken dish okay the pan is hot enough now and I'm going to place the chicken onto the pan. You can hear there's a white sizzle. That nice coating of Caesar salad dressing, which is homemade. It has lemon, anchovy, garlic, olive oil, even a touch of Parmesan cheese, or actually pecorino cheese. I prefer pecorino over Parmesan because it is made from sheep's milk. It's great for anyone who's lactose intolerant. So now I'm going to sear or score one side of the chicken. I'm not going to move it around. I'm going to just leave it on the pan for about five minutes and then I'll turn it over in about five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes and now I'm going to turn over the pieces of chicken, the ones that are scored beautifully. There we go. Let's see the pieces. And the ones that aren't, I'm going to move those over to the center of the pan, pan and potter in the center. This is such a simple dish to make. It's so savory. 
and really has that umami thing going on because of the um, miso. This miso is a very flavorful fermented bean paste, very high in vitamins, vitamin B, protein. It's a wonderful alternative to animal protein. The miso does add a protein boost to this dish so that you really don't need to serve too many pieces of chicken. You're still able to get your B vitamins from the miso. Okay, the chicken is grilled on both sides, but it's not finished in the center. You have two choices here. You can transfer the chicken to a dish, similar to this casserole or pie dish, and place it in the 350 degree oven for about five to 10 minutes, or you can do this trick. I'm gonna cover this pan, and I'm going to create an oven effect and let the chicken cook for about four minutes. Then I'm going to remove the top pan. They're ready. I'm going to plate this dish family style. I don't really need to take the vegetables out of, the, of this pie dish, but I think it would look nice on a green platter. So I'm going to transfer the roasted eggplant and the bell peppers. I have a little bit of tomato onto a round serving dish. Okay, and I'm going to arrange them on the outside, around the outside of the vegetables. I can tell by the texture of the chicken that it's completely cooked through and actually steam cooked. The top pan created an oven effect and this way I didn't really have to use my oven. You're saving on energy there. It's very sustainable. And to top it off, I'm going to garnish the plate with the steamed asparagus ends. And there you go.